Good morning. We are going to make something called Amish hexagons this week, and we're going to make a paper quilt out of these. You only need four items. You need a pencil, scissors. You guys have kid scissors. You need a cardboard circle and a piece of paper. I cut them in squares so that you guys can do this next step. You have to flip your paper upside down. So it's a white side drawing. Take a piece of paper. You're going to trace the circle. That's easy, right? That's, that's a simple way. Simple start. It's a circle. It's not 100%. It's okay. Put your circle aside. Take your scissors. Cut out your circle. You want to cut as close to the actual circle as you can to make the actual hexagon in the end. You can see I'm being careful. I'm cutting on my line. Okay. There's my circle. This part's going to be trash. This is what you're going to use. You're going to take this circle and you're going to fold it in half. Okay. And you're going to fold it in half again to make a quarter circle. You actually want this point right here. This tiny little point right here where my finger is. Okay. You're going to open this up. You're going to fold any side you want to that to that, that little point right down the middle, the circle. That's what you want the middle for because you want to fold to the middle. You're going to take this corner on the left and take this corner and fold it to the middle to that little tiny point. Okay, so now I have this, take this, this point again, fold it to the middle. Okay, you want all your points to touch. Okay, so now look at, you see what's happening? Almost looks like, a, almost like an envelope, right? Again, take this corner, fold it to the middle. Sometimes you have to fold the paper out. You see what's happening? You see the shape it's making? Again, take this corner, fold it to the middle. Now this is where you're going to have to maybe fudge it a little bit because you want this to make a nice point right up here, okay? Pull that to the middle. And lastly, take this point, hold it up to the middle, just like this. And there is your hexagon. Some hexagons are gonna turn out looking better than others. Like this one is probably a little bit more accurate. Um, I also have some that are thicker paper. These are actually harder to fold, but once you get the hang of it with the thinner paper, I'll hand you some of the thicker papers to work on. When you're done, put them in the pink basket and that's it. So anyways, Amish hexagons is what we're making and we will make a paper quilt over the next couple of weeks. Okay. There's no names on these. No names. No names needed because this is going to be a group project. Okay. Um, any questions? Come and see me. Bye.